facilities engineering technology is really a undergraduate education in electromechanical systems engineering. Uh, we train the engineers that take care of large facilities, that's large buildings, industrial complexes, shopping malls, resorts, hotels, uh, power plants. Uh, so they get a really a broad education. In terms of the mechanical engineering courses, you're going to be taking statics, dynamics, and strength of materials. Statics are when all forces are in equilibrium and nothing moves. Dynamics is when forces aren't in equilibrium and something moves. And strength of materials is how do you calculate the stress and strain in a body or a wall or a roof of a building when it's under a load. Electrical courses include electric circuits, electric motors, electronics, and automation. Uh, you'll also take some specific courses in facilities engineering that'll include diagnostics labs where we look at vibration analysis of machine trains that would be a motor and a pump. We look at non-destructive testing of steel and wells. We look at uh, the energy usage in buildings. Buildings use about 40 percent of the energy in the United States so if we're going to reduce our energy usage buildings are ground zero for looking at that. We look at sustainability and green uh, energy usage in buildings. We look at maintenance programs, both predictive and uh, preventive maintenance programs in buildings. We look at the OSHA and EPA requirements for facilities. Uh, we also have a separate course in heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, which is one of the most important systems in buildings. We also have a power engineering course and a laboratory that looks at how do you create and generate power. Well, for facilities engineers, they go on the freshman crews only. Then the other two years, they go on an industrial co-ops. And it fits in very well because all of the same systems that are on the ship are the same systems that are in buildings. Our students have a wide variety of uh, internships. The, a lot of them go to uh, power plants, be power plant operators and engineers. Uh, particularly with smaller cogen facilities such as the one at Stanford or the one at uh, San Francisco State University. They also go, a lot of them go to Genentech which has a lot of facilities in the area. Genentech usually takes a number of students each year. Uh, a lot of them just go to different buildings around uh, and become facilities engineers in various buildings. Our students take the certified plant engineer in training test during their senior year and therefore after they get five years of experience they don't have to take another test, the certified plant engineer test, for the Association of Facilities Engineers to then certify them as a certified plant engineer. We work through industry mostly with the Association of Facilities Engineering. They're called AFE. They have two very strong local chapters, one in Silicon Valley and the Golden Gate chapter in San Francisco. Our students go to their monthly meetings. Uh, it's not mandatory, but we always go to them, uh, where they talk about the thing, the current topics of interest in the industry. Feedback that I get from industry uh, and meet a lot of people that hire our graduates through the AFE organization has always been very good. One of the best probably is with, at one of the meetings a few years ago with this day with a facilities engineer. The chief engineer for Adobe's new high rises in San Jose gave a presentation in the morning and the first thing he said was hats off to all you California Maritime Academy students because you run San Francisco. He had been a chief engineer and assistant chief in a number of buildings in San Francisco and he said there's Cal Maritime graduates in almost all of them. The staff here in the engineering technology department has a wealth of experience. Almost every member of the faculty has worked in industry for a number of years before coming and becoming a professor. Not only that, but you're going to get a hands-on feel. We have a power laboratory. We have a fluid mechanics laboratory. Uh, we have a sh the training ship. So it's, a, it's not only an academic education, but it's a very hands-on education. You're going to see the same types of systems that you'll see in industry here at the school, and you're going to get a chance to work on them, operate them, maintain them. If you're in high school now and you're looking at coming to an engineering school like Cal Maritime, you need to be taking math, algebra, calculus, you need to take physics, chemistry. Look around. 
There's a lot of buildings out there, big buildings, big commercial facilities, shopping malls, big hotels, big resorts, big industrial facilities, factories. They all have a facilities engineering staff. They all need facilities engineers on almost a continuing basis. So there's a lot of opportunities.